to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because as you guys can tell from the title, I am pregnant again. This pregnancy I feel like has been so weird because I waited a little bit longer to share that I'm pregnant because I had a few family members that I wanted to tell in person and I didn't see them until Easter and then I had a doctor's appointment today. So I was like, I might as well just like wait until I go to that to make sure everything's good. So I'm actually 13 and a half weeks and with Cove, I shared at 11 and a half weeks. So not a huge difference, but I just feel like I've known for so long and I'm super excited to share with you guys today. So last time I did a video on my channel when I was pregnant with Cove and I shared just like the story of how I found out even though on our vlog channel I have like the actual footage of me finding out but I also kind of wanted to do like a separate story time version. The other video is going to be linked down below if you guys want to see me actually finding out and me telling Parker. But today's video I think it's going to be like a little bit short because I feel like there's not that much to this story but I wanted to let you guys know on this channel in case you don't watch my vlog channel or follow my Instagram but you should because vlog channel is where I post all the time so that'll be linked down below if you guys want to check it out but anyways let's go ahead and get into the little mini story time as you guys can tell I'm so out of breath I'm also almost at the end of my first trimester so I think next week I'll do a first trimester update and maybe after that I'll do like a Q&A so let me know what pregnancy videos you guys want to see it was really fun last time when I was pregnant because there was just like I just love watching pregnancy videos even like before I had cope I thought they were so fun to watch so anyways I said let's get into the <laughs> story and then I didn't tell the story. So we were trying to get pregnant. We also tried to get pregnant with Cove. So both babies were planned. Last time it took us five months to get pregnant, which it doesn't sound like a lot, especially looking back. I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. But it felt like forever. It was really hard for me because I was super like type A with everything and tracking everything. We weren't just like seeing what happened or anything. I was like really trying to get pregnant. So it taking five months was hard for me. So this time I was like, okay, I don't know how long it's going to take. It could take more than five months. It could take less than five months. I kind of had a feeling it would be shorter this time, but I think that was just me like really hoping that it would be because again, even though it was only five months last time, it felt like forever and it was really hard. So this time it took three months, which I was super grateful for. So I didn't want my kids to be under like two years apart. I really didn't if I like I would have got pregnant it would have been fine But with planning everything I just didn't want two under two I really wanted them to be between like two and two and a half years apart But I also had to think about the fact that all my baby clothes that I have from Cove are like the size for her like she was born in August. So I kind of wanted to make sure that the baby was born closer to like two years apart from Cove so that the clothes would be for the same season because there's so many clothes that I have and I just didn't want them to go to waste if like the baby was a complete opposite size and the opposite season. So like nothing was gonna work out. So I can reuse a bunch of her clothes and stuff. So that'll be really nice. I have tons of like gender neutral stuff. So yeah, I'm very excited about the age difference. I am kind of scared because I feel like that's so close. Me and all my siblings are like, closer to three years apart and then my littlest brother is like five years apart from my sister so those are not big age gaps or anything but i feel like now it's close like most people that I know, their kids are like two years apart. So I'm hoping that the age gap will be good. I'm sure it will be like perfect for us and just like work out how it's supposed to. Yeah, so they're gonna be two years and two months apart. So I think we started trying in November. So November, December, and then I got pregnant in January and I found out in February. And when I was pregnant with Cove, I had no idea in the video, I said like, oh, my stomach's been hurting a little bit, but I thought it was just because I ate like fettuccine Alfredo, which is like a really heavy meal with like lots of dairy and stuff. So last time I had no idea. I was so shocked when I took the test, but this time I just felt like I knew and I felt like I had more actual like symptoms already. Like my back was hurting and I think my stomach was a little bit crampy too. And every time that I'm like trying to get pregnant, I'm just like very obsessed with it. I cannot have the mentality of like not stressing about it which is not good because that's not what you're supposed to have and everyone says like just relax and it will happen but that is just not how my brain works so for the two months before that every single time I felt like any type of cramp or anything I was like oh my gosh what if I'm pregnant but this time I just was like I swear it's this month I don't know I had like the pains, the cramps, and I just felt like off a little bit already, which so many people say, but again with Cove, I did not feel like that at all. So I had no idea, but this time I really wasn't like shocked to get a positive test. But another thing that I always do is test way too early. So I always get like a really, really, really faint 
positive line and you can't really even see it unless you're like looking at it in person so in my video you like cannot see it in the video with cove you can't really see it but i was pregnant both times so it was there so i woke up in the morning i was like i'm gonna take a test today because you're supposed to use like your first morning urine because it's the most concentrated so even though it was pretty early and i knew that it would be a faint line if there was any line at all i still decided to take the test parker was asleep i think i was going to like work out or something so i actually didn't even tell him right away because i just like wanted to like soak in the news myself for a second whereas last time when i took the test i'll link that video down below too if you guys haven't seen it but last time when i took the test i was gonna try and hide it until the next day so i could get like a more positive test to show him but i just like could not hide it but this time i could so i waited until i got a digital test so again if you guys want to see me telling him you can watch it in my vlog channel video but i took the test in the morning it was positive it was super faint i feel like i wasn't surprised i also feel like it was so long ago now it's crazy which it really wasn't that long ago but it was like over two months ago so i guess it was kind of a long time so I feel like I've known forever so it's so weird to like finally be sharing it with everybody yeah so I woke up in the morning kind of just like had a feeling it was probably a couple days before my period and usually you should like wait until you miss your period because then if you miss it you'll know like I could take a pregnancy test but I have these cheap ones that I always like to get so that I don't feel bad if I test like <laughs> A lot of times so I took one of those I only did the one last time I did like five or six because I just did not believe it but this time I just kind of like knew that I was pregnant so woke up in the morning took that test I recorded it and in my videos where I record stuff I always like hardly say anything until after I get the positive because I don't like to like fully explain everything like every single month when I'm trying to like figure out if I'm pregnant because then I have to just do it over and over again so I don't really say that much in the actual video I don't know it's like I was surprised I was pregnant just because you see a positive and it's like the craziest thing ever but I also just like felt like I was so I wasn't actually that shocked or anything and again we were trying to get pregnant I also feel like this story is kind of all over the place I was trying to like prep what I was even gonna say in this video and I was like I don't know what to say besides like I took a test and it was positive but yeah that was basically it so took the test waited a couple days till i could get a positive digital one and then i told parker that was super fun so yeah go watch that video linked down below if you guys want to see me telling him but i just had cove go and like take the pregnancy test to him and he was so much more shocked than me he definitely thought that it was going to take a lot longer this time he thought that last time it was like eight months or something it wasn't it was only five so he was just like super super surprised but we were so excited and that was pretty much the story of how I found out that I was pregnant this time. So we have been filming lots of stuff for the vlog channel, like my first ultrasound and telling friends and family and all of that stuff. So again, check out my vlog channel if you guys want to see all of that. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see on this channel, like pregnancy related videos or non-pregnancy related videos, if you have any of those suggestions too. But that is gonna be it for this video. I feel like it's probably a little bit short, but that is it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.